reason gold is so important, gold and silver, is because gold and silver is God's money. It's money made by God. And then in 1971, the U.S. government, under Tricky Dick Nick, President Nixon, took God's money and turned it into man-made money. Never in the history of the world, this is the thing, never in the history of the world has this ever happened. In 1971, the U.S. and Nixon convinced the entire world to replace gold and silver with paper money. This stuff. Cash is trash. So the reason we have so much volatility in the world today is historically, since the time of the Romans and the Greeks and the French and the English and the Germans, every time they have taken God's money, like silver here, and replaced it with man-made money, there's been economic volatility. Now the problem is, so the dollar is going to keep dropping. So the, one of the reasons I can predict what's going to happen is I can predict the dollar will keep dropping simply because the U.S. government and now the Euro, the European Central Banks, are printing so much of this trash. So you'll see gold going up in price, oil going up in price, real estate going up in price, because this is trash. So that's what happened in 1971. It's happened throughout history. And the reason this current election doesn't make any difference is the only person that can put this back in place is a strong, charismatic leader. People like uh, Julius Caesar, Napoleon. That's why there were such great leaders, was they actually replaced this with this. Unfortunately, we do not have that person among the candidates. I know Ron Paul, philosophically, I agree with him as closely as possible, but unfortunately, I don't think Ron Paul has the chutzpah, as my Jewish friends would say, to change this whole thing. So there will be more this printed than ever before, which means the dollar keeps coming down and other things keep going up. And that's really what's going to happen. It's predictable. And eventually, this will go to its true worth, zero. So all of you savers out there and people trying to save this trash, you're going to lose big time. It, to me, I've been saying this for a number of years now, silver is the biggest opportunity I have ever seen, bigger than real estate, bigger than anything else. And silver, as we're talking today, 2008, is about $15 an ounce. Mm -hmm. There's less than 10 years supply worth of silver on planet Earth. The difference between gold and silver is gold is hoarded, silver is consumed. Silver is an industrial precious metal. It is used in cell phones, telephones, computers, electric lights, everywhere. The more information age we become, the more we use silver. And what, what uh, Michael is saying is that stockpile is at all-time lows, and they're not discovering much more. Poland has about 25% of the world's silver, so you know, you can buy real estate silver in Poland. You know, but anyway. So when people say, Mexico, you, too. Yeah, am I in, where am I investing? I say, I'm investing in the world. I say, what do you mean by that? He says, I'm investing in a metal that is consumed throughout the world. So I haven't, I, know I, bought, I buy a little gold, but I have been, you know, I've, I've been buying silver, Kim and I have been buying silver since it was about $4 an ounce. And we stockpile it, we buy ETFs, we buy anything we can on that stuff. And, we, and then, you know, it was, what, 7 bucks? Then all of a sudden now it's 15 and we're just watching it. It is not crystal ball. You know, it is not about, you know, the stuff on television. It is pure supply, demand, economics, fundamentals. As I said, there's 2 billion people wanting the Western lifestyle. 2 billion people wanting cell phones, computers, electricity, bikes. All of this stuff. So I look at it as fifteen dollars an ounce. Oh, that's I think I'll wait. Well, I remember when it was three and three mm -hmm. fifty, then three seventy, then four dollars, and then I, I said, "Yep, the bottom has been hit. The thing is trending up, and it just keeps going." 